Hello community, we have a new secret transformer that nobody is talking about. And you might say, wait, wait a second, I just have a look at the leaderboard. So who are the best transformer system on this planet? Gemini, Gemini 2.0, Flash Syncing from December 19. ChatGPT, O1 Preview, Grok, okay, Claude Sonnet. No, these are all known. And you say, hey, wait a minute, here in the license, those are only proprietary. Maybe he means here open source. And you say, yes, I've read this. The best fully open source LLM available starting December 8, 2024 is here absolutely Moxin. And this is great. This is a development by Northeastern University, Harvard University, Cornell University, and, and, and beautiful. And you think this is it, no? Because look, we have an Apache 2 license. We have a beautiful GitHub repo. We have everything on Hacking Face available for you. Unfortunately, because it is not hyped and nobody's talking about this, it has no downloads, it is not sexy enough, but you say, you know what, it includes the code training data now. And you say, hey, to construct this particular stack data set, 220 million active GitHub repos were collected here between 2015 and 22. And after the old initial filtering, we have about 5.28 billion unique code files with an uncompressed side of close to 100 terabyte. So you might say, this is it. And look, we have everything fully open source. And you might say, everybody would be enjoying this, no? But I hardly see any reports on this. Everything is here absolutely specified how it is done. The training, they give you everything. They're absolutely transparent. This is the best open source model you can find out there given this open source, but then you look and say, hey, wait a minute. This is based here on a Llama 2 7B model. And you think, hmm, on this channel, somebody would recommend an old fashioned Llama 2 model and say, maybe this is not it. And you say, okay, we have to go back. So a transformer, a secret transformer, nobody is talking about. What could that be? And I say, yeah. You know, it's a transformer that is absolutely essential for the complete information retrieval in AI. I said this is the transformer that enables rack systems, any rack system at all, for the last four and a half years. And I say it's a transformer that creates vector embeddings. There would be no vector store without of this. And I say it's a transformer that creates semantic vector spaces where you can have a cosine similarity calculation. And I tell you, it's a transformer that creates new mathematical representation and new mathematical spaces to be able to operate here with certain mathematical function on this. And you might say, well, what transformer is able to do this? Well, I give you another hint. If we go back here to the transformer, this is a video two years old. And I show you here, my goodness, I have here a complete YouTube playlist with 11 videos that I showed you here, a T5 model, you know, a sequence to sequence large language model. And we went through everything, coding, doing this in jacks with flags and everything. But do you remember the most important thing, as I told you here, the transformer architecture. If you look at the model, you remember here, this is our particular transformer in working visualization. And you remember that I showed you two years ago, we can divide this up somehow. No? If you only look here at the decoder part of the transformer without the encoder, we call this here the GPT models. And OpenAI was two years ago there. This was a unidirectional causal language model that was great for next step prediction, for the next token prediction. But on the other side, we had a bidirectional masked language model. And we call this an encoder only transformer model. And they were called BERT. And they were great for building here new representation, for example, in vector spaces. And now you might say, okay, so if it's not any of those models by OpenAI, by Anthropic, by Google, by I don't know what, 
it must be here under encoder only transformer architecture. And yes, you're right. So for more than six years, we had a classical bird model. But today, today it finally happens. But let me just make it absolutely clear what is the difference between all the AI models we use today we have here our GPT systems, our decoder-only transform architecture. So we employ an autoregressive processing where the tokens only attend to the past token and we have those generative tasks. But on the other side, the encoder-only transformer, they input here a bidirectional structure allowing every token to attend to every other token, capturing here deep contextual relationship so much better than the GPT models. The task specialization was much better, and if you look at the efficiency, BERT in RAG was unbeatable. So there we have it. Starting today, we have now modern BERT. And this is, this is like a Christmas present. Finally, we have a new BERT system. And here we have it. December 19, 2024. Smarter, better, faster, longer, and much more beautiful. A modern bidirectional encoder of a transformer for fast, memory efficient, and long context fine tuning and inference of LLMs. And you know what? Beautiful consortium. Answer.ai, LIDON, John Hopkins University, NVIDIA. This is so important. We will see here the optimization NVIDIA did implement here also for consumer GPUs. So not only the H100s. And of course, Hugging Face. So I was simply amazed to see this, that finally our encoder-only transformer models, our BERT models, we bring them now, we equip them with the latest technology and we bring them up to date. Amazing. We have here modern BERT here. Our GitHub, as you see, examples were just updated for 14 hours ago. The source code here released yesterday. It is an Apache 2 license. It is there for you. It is an amazing achievement. You have it already on Hugging Face, Answer.ea, Modern Bird Large and a base. You have two new Bird models, which is simply great. So this transition from the classical old bird system to the modern bird. We changed everything. Architecture, training procedure, we have new efficiency improvements. The key updates are simply amazing for modern bird. We have a new sequence length. We have a new efficiency oriented design with an implementation of the latest of flash intention and some unpadding techniques to reduce the computational overhead and utilize here GPU specific utilization, including a consumer 4090. We have an improved inference speed up to three times compared here to the other models. We have a complete new architecture. We finally now use here our rotary positional embeddings, our rope embeddings. We have a complete new attention mechanism that increases here the speed significant. We have a local global attention mechanism that I showed you also in my last video when we were talking about BLT models. We have new, much more powerful activation function, non-linearity with gated structures to optimize the performance and the hardware efficiency. Plus, all of this has been trained on the latest data, on the latest best available data. We have now code integrated here, everything from web documents, and we have now broad application coverage and a better understanding of everything that is connected here with programming task. But notice it is done for the language of English. So if you have some other languages, please, for the moment, this is here an English implementation. And then with the integration of NVIDIA in the team, we have a hardware aware and optimized design team for everything you can optimize on GPUs. If you want to understand the technology that we are implemented there, and you want to have a short overview here of the gated linear units, the GLU units, 
this technology here from this publication by Google from 2020, these GLU variants were used here in this new modern BERT system. And if you're looking for the specific tokenizer, because in my last video I showed you that Meta developed a new tokenizer-free methodology, which is hailed here as something special. But if you look closer, you just see that it is applying a different methodology. But with dynamic tokenization, we can make much further developments. And if you want to read here that the tokenizer that they implemented in the modern bird architecture, this is the Olmo tokenizer. And this is here the research paper from Allen Institute, University of Washington, Yale University, New York University, and Carnegie Mellon University from June of 2024. Great. Now, if you're not sure about the, position, the new positional encoding optimization, I have two videos for you here. In this here, I explain here the rotary position embedding up to 100k context length. And in the second video, I give it here the further technological details and the code implementation if you want to go to 1 million tokens. Great. But what is also absolutely fascinating, and this goes here with my last video from yesterday where I showed you here this byte latent new transformer architecture by Meta that they do, do not use a tokenizer. And I told you that they have, if you remember, in their local encoder structure, they have here the self-attention and cross-attention, but focusing primarily here on the local attention. And then in the main transformer, they have here the global attention. So they separate here local and global attention for a better computational performance. We have here the same. We have now alternating local and global attention mechanism in modern BERT, but integrated also on an architectural level. We will have specific layers in our BERT architecture that are only for calculating global attention. So what we want to achieve, we want to balance the computational efficiency with the ability to process long context length. And as I told you, the global attention, remember every token within a sequence attends to every other token. This is quite computationally expensive, but it provides you full contextual awareness across the entire input. And local attention, we have here the sliding windows implemented here. So those particular tokens attend only to the small sliding window of neighboring tokens, let's say 128 or whatever you go with, which reduces here the computational complexity while preserving here the local contextual information of our patch of our sequence of tokens. Real intelligent implementation to improve the computational speed and complexity. So, Going now on the architectural side in modern BERT, we see that every third layer employs now this global attention calculation. And the other remaining layers use here with this sliding window, the local attention calculation. And in modern BERT was implemented now a window size of 128 tokens. You might ask why we do this? Well, remember that global attention is in the normal system as it is scaling quadratically with the sequence length. And now by reducing now the frequency of the global attention layers and the calculation, modern bird achieves a significant computational savings. It's faster and cheaper. Talking about faster, I told you here about the positional rope configuration that we implemented, but we also have an implementation of flash attention too. And even if you use an NVIDIA H100 flash attention 3 implementation, which is amazing, this is brand new, and they are designed specifically to optimize the memory and the compute efficiency across everything. This is done, I suppose, the part by NVIDIA and this team by Modern Bird to make Bird even faster on consumer GPUs like a 4090 up to an H100 GPU. So, amazing speed improvement, new architecture, new positional encodings. Everything has been brought up here to let's say 2025 to the technology of 2025. And we have finally a new 
modern bird and my goodness it was time so thank you to all those beautiful artists so they enabled us here to improve our information retrieval architecture everything that is connected with rag and everything that is here using here something like a vector embedding if you do not want to read the technical paper there's a beautiful article on hugging face you go hugging face articles published december 19 2024 titled finally a replacement for bird it was upvoted 216 time here you have the authors what they did some great stuff just to remember the importance of this secret transformers you will not hear the authors conclude we expect to see modern bird become the new standard in numerous application where encoder only transformer models are now deployed such as in the rag pipelines you remember retrieval augmented generation and more or less in high level recommendation system and i think this sentence underlines the importance here of modern bird the new standard in everything that is connected here with information retrieval everything that is about rack pipelines everything where you have a vector representation an embedding of specific information where we bring in external information where you build fast vector stores and vector spaces to have a similarity operation in these mathematical spaces or anything if you go with a higher recommendation system so modern bird finally a beautiful christmas present for the complete ai community and thank you to all those authors who made this possible and published here modern bird on a free open source license for the community and i will immediately implement here modern bird especially for my rack systems i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found some news idea and maybe if you subscribe i will see you in my next video